Hey guys, it's about the end of February, and I um, talk about talk about several things. Today. I'll just throw this out there. No one watches my videos anyway, so it's not like you know I really care what I'm going to say. But I got some things to talk about. We're going to talk about NASCAR, Wendy's fries, Facebook photo viewer, and leaving a manual transmission on the Ford Super Duty. So let's talk about NASCAR first of all, and why I'm against NASCAR. Now, you know, you can look around. You can see you got you know I'm. I'm not a city city guy by any means. Um, I don't like NASCAR for many reasons. One is I think it's one I think it's it's gone too far really. Now people are you know you see NASCAR and you automatically think you know hillbilly white trash hicks, which I'm not saying that there aren't hillbilly white trash hicks who watch it, but it's not you know a hillbilly white trash hicks hicks sport sport sport. But I hate NASCAR for many reasons. One. It's kind of it's it's gotten fakey. I mean, there's no real NASCAR. It's not stock. It's not that. It's it's a bunch of rich guys out there who just want to drive really fast. I mean, these cars are like two hundred thousand dollar cars. Another reason I don't like it, I'm against it, is because they're using technology from the '80s. I mean, they can't allow overhead cams or electronic fuel injection. None of that. They're still using you know overhead valves, carburation. That stuff was done away with in the late '90s or early mid '90s. The only people who are still using it is freaking Chrysler and GM, and the government had to bail them out. Um, I'm also against it because the cars aren't stock at all. There is you, you tell me one thing on a stock car that's stock. Not you can't exactly. They're you know they don't resemble anything like a you know car. Another thing is people you know are always constantly talking about oh NASCAR takes a lot of skill like you drive 160 mile an hour going in a circle. Well, you know, I hate to say it, but I'm not saying it doesn't take skill, but if you can drive an unsynchronized transmission, you're pretty much good to go. Um, an unsynchronized, like a tractor or something. Just because you can drive a stick doesn't necessarily mean you can drive one of these. They use special transmissions. But still, I mean, it's just, it's not. It's not. It's, it's, I just don't think it's entertaining. I'm here, NASCAR guy. Don't comment and hate on I mean, you probably aren't going to be watching it. probably going to get like 300 views by next year. But... Don't hate on this video. I mean, I respect what you like. If you respect that I don't like it. But, and here's what we should do. You know, to make NASCAR better, I've got a plan. I mean, it's not going to happen, but this is what should happen. You should be allowed to three right-hand turns and three left-hand turns at least in every track. That way you can, you know, mix it up. I mean, I'm still saying go ahead and do the banked curves and stuff, because I don't think this needs to be like a Formula One thing. But still need to change that. And then the cars. The re here's how you need to do the cars. You want to do build a NASCAR car, you have to take it from the production line and you have $50,000 to modify it. You know that you can't touch that block, you can't touch the bottom end, which is the crankshaft connecting rods, you can't touch the transmission, and you can't touch the rear end. Everything else is fair game. If you want to use automatic transmission, that's fine. You want to use EFI, that's fine. You want to use overhead cam, that's fine. You want to use variable valve timing, that's fine. But it has to come from the factory. You can't, you know, you can't get like a Mustang and then put a huge 600 cubic inch overhead valve carbureted engine in it. You can't do that. It has to use the factory shell, factory frame, factory electronics. Now, you know, I'm saying you go ahead and you can gut it or whatever. But it still needs to be somewhat from the factory. It needs to remain a stock car. Um, and you know you have fifty thousand dollars. Don't you can't go be putting like two or three hundred thousand dollars in these cars. And what's this? What this will do is if they if they would do this, that would allow there to be very very cool cars being built. Like in the seventies, the Boss Four Twenty Nine. That was the engine that was put in that, so it could be legal in NASCAR. You'd go back to doing that kind of stuff again. You'd have some sweet cars on the road. There's no doubt. But I just think NASCAR has gotten way too full of sponsorship and money. That's the problem. Money. Money fucked NASCAR up. Um, well, let's see. I really, you know, I wish they... NASCAR has just gotten to the point where I can sit and watch it, and it, it, it bores me, I'm going to be honest. You know, putting those restrictor plates on it, I think that's stupid. You want to go and run your car? Run it as fast as you can. It's NASCAR. Um, that's really all I've got to say about NASCAR. Something else I want to talk about are the, this is going to sound stupid, but the new fries at Wendy's are terrible. If you comment, if you agree, they're 
they're nothing like the old fries. They're, they're, they taste like bad homemade fries that you would not really eat too many of, but your buddy thinks that they're delicious, so he'll eat a lot of them. They're no good. They're either way too salty or not salty enough. Just I wish they'd go back to making the old fries. What else I see we're going to talk about? Oh, the new Facebook photo viewer is terrible. It crashes my computer every time I try to pull it up. I wish we could change that. Um... Oh, Ford taking a man. Did you hear about this? Ford's taking their manual transmission out of the Super Duty. Can't get a 6.7 with a 6-speed transmission anymore. It's a 6-speed automatic. I don't like that at all. I'll stick with the good old 7.3s behind that camera right there. Got a 6-speed transmission in it. It'll be good till the day it dies. Um, might be getting a truck here soon. It's a 91 or 92 F-150. 5-speed. Got that 300 inline 6 damn good engine right there. Um, went to the national championship tractor pull the other day. It was great. Had a good time. Really about it. Uh, oh, here's something else I want to discuss before we go. The emissions laws that are on trucks and stuff. And, you know, they're, they're going to start putting emissions laws on tractors, which is beyond bizarre, in my opinion. They have totally ruined the trucking industry. You know, trucks, like, you know, those you can't justify getting a diesel anymore. Diesels, after my, my, some people like the 5.9 Cummins. I really don't like them after the 12 valve. The 12 valve was good. The 24 valve kind of ruined it for me. Uh, the 7.3, I think that was the best diesel engine they ever made. But, I mean, I don't want to sound like a fanboy or anything. I respect your truck, but I just don't like anything that's a new diesel. You know, anymore, we see all the time, now this is a 6 liter, but... Those V10 Tritons definitely outlast the 6 liters, no doubt. Uh, the 6.4s, they have problems. You gotta take the cab off if you wanna change any, you know, mess with, you know, do a head gassing job makes you have to take the whole truck cab off. Um, just my opinion. Uh, can't believe, I can't believe they're taking out manual transmissions in those Super Duties. It really surprised me. Um, really not that much else going on. I'm gonna... I'm going to go see the space shuttle launch with my father, but unfortunately, it looked like it's going to rain all those days, so it's not looking too good. Uh, that's really all I want to talk about is got my gripes right now. The EPA and NASCAR is really just starting to tick me off. Oh, what do you think about the TSA in their screenings? I'm all for it, you know. You go ahead and put me on a... I wish they would do... If you want to be on a plane that's not a full body scan, that's cool. But they need to have a separate plane for people who would want a full body scan because I would get on that plane any day. I've got nothing to hide. I'll go right through that body scanner as happy as can be. You know, I'm not, you know, it's not like I'm insecure about anything. Oh, God. And I don't carry weapons or anything on me. The worst thing I'll go through are airports, my steel toe shoes. So, uh, if you're watching this, comment on it, this video, like I said. In a year from now, it'll probably get like three or 400 views, so I probably won't have that many comments. But go ahead and comment on it. Tell me what you think. Those are just my views on the world right now. So thanks for watching.